In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a DNS error has occurred on PS4. Now the error code that will pop up with this is typically NW-31253-4 and to fix it, you want to go to settings. From here, we're going to go to network and we're going to go to set up internet connection. Now using Wi-Fi or LAN cable, I always recommend a LAN cable. It's going to be faster and more stable. However, I'm currently using Wi-Fi and from here, we're going to go to custom internet connection. Now, once this loads, it's going to bring up your Wi-Fi. And if you don't know the name of your Wi-Fi, you can always check the back of your router unless you've changed it, of course, and it's going to be something different. So 99 problems, but Wi-Fi ain't one. Now, if you have a password, input it now. So once you've input your password, we're going to be going to automatic IP address settings. Do not specify. And this is where we're going to be making some adjustments. So for DNS settings, we're going to go to manual. And as far as like different DNS servers you can use, the two most popular are the Google DNS and the Cloudflare DNS. So the Google DNS is 8.8.8.8 with the secondary DNS being 8.8.4.4. If you wanted to try the Cloudflare DNS, it's 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1. Now, once you've done that, we're gonna go to next. From here, MTU settings, automatic. Do not use proxy server. And you wanna test your internet connection to see if it fixes your issue. So you want to back out once you know everything's working there all fine and dandy and see if you're still getting the error. Now, if you are still getting the error, what I recommend you do is actually turn off your PS4. So press and hold the power button on your controller, go to power and go to turn off PS4. And you also want to unplug your PS4 as well as your router, wait a couple of minutes and plug it all back in and test it again to see if that fixes the issue. Now, if you're still having problems at this point, another thing you could try is also go to settings. From here, you wanna go down to initialize and go to restore default settings. Now, if you have a password, input it. And this is going to restore all default settings on all of these different settings listed. So do bear that in mind. However, this is essentially just putting your PS4 back to normal as far as adjusting settings go on your PS4. But to me, this is a drastic measure. I try everything else first. And you could also try contacting your service provider to see if it's maybe something on their end or if they could give you some advice.